Hi, welcome back to another episode of Nobody's Doing It Right, the podcast for those who are uncertain. My name is Kat. I am one of these perpetually uncertain people. I'm also your host and hopefully somebody who's helping you through your own uncertainty. Today's episode is going to be about passion versus purpose. Now, if you've been following my podcast for a while, you probably know that my first my first iteration of this podcast was for my creativity. It was for my creative writing because for a long time, I've kind of associated myself to being a writer. And if you followed me on TikTok from the beginning, you'd know that my name on there, my handle was Katarina Writes. That's just how I branded myself online for a long time because writing was always such a big part of me and my life. And so I just kind of latched onto that. However, throughout this past year, the more comfortable I got being more, you know, verbally expressive online, showing up and sharing my thoughts and ideas in a way that I never thought was right for me, which is, you know, verbally through public speaking, I realized that I was confusing my passion for my purpose and my purpose for my passion. (laughs) And so I wanted to talk about this a little bit more for anybody else who listens to me, who's also a creative, right? Because I know I have a lot of creative followers who obviously are on a personal growth journey and also are artists and are doing their own creative works. And I think this kind of, it's all intertwined, right? It all works in tandem and I think can help anybody who's struggling with understanding what their purpose and what their passion is. Now, of course, this is just from my own personal perspective and experience, but I realize that there is a significant difference between your passion and your purpose. And if you if you confuse the two, especially if they aren't, you know, both of the same for you, if you confuse the two of them, it can make your journey very difficult and very confusing. So to talk about my story a little bit, um, I saw myself as a writer. I thought that was that was the purpose of my life, to be a writer, because I had started writing when I was a kid. I used writing as an escape. I'm an only child, and I often had to play by myself growing up. And I remember when I was probably around like 10, 11, maybe, using my mom's old IBM laptop. Um, it had like a black screen, like the interface was black with like white writing or blue writing or something like that. And it was just, that was like the most high tech at the time. Again, I'm a millennial, so you could like, I was on the cusp of, you know, technology and all that stuff. But um, I used to use that and would write stories by myself on this laptop. And it was just like my favorite thing to do. I had so much fun with it. And then I kept obviously writing as I got older um, in high school and, you know, just continued. I just love writing. And for a long time, I thought that because I love doing it and it feels so good and it's, you know, so healing for me, whether that's fiction writing or nonfiction, journaling, whatever, I assumed that was my purpose. That was my point of existence. That was the reason I had to to exist for, in a sense. And so I dedicated my life to trying to pursue that. And it never really fit for me. It never felt quite right. And I didn't understand why, because I love writing. And yet when I was faced with certain obstacles or certain, you know, kind of gatekeepers or methods to show my writing and pursue it and, um, you know, let the world see it, I didn't like it. It didn't fit. It didn't make sense. It wasn't aligned. And I didn't understand why for a while. And it was only when I started TikTok, honestly, that I realized writing is not my purpose. Writing is my passion. I enjoy writing. It, it's something I'm passionate about. I love doing it, but it's not my purpose. And the distinction between the two, I think, your passion is something that you can do when it feels, when you're in the mood for it, right? It's something that happens because you're passionate about it. And passion, you know, ebbs and flows. It's not always consistent all the time, at least not for me. It's something I like to do, you know, in bursts of emotional, you know, distress sometimes, in excitement. It, it happens in moments when I feel this heightened sense of, you know, emotion. And sometimes I just need to sit down and write, but not always. However, when you're thinking of it as your purpose, at least for me, I felt like I had to do it all the time because if it's your purpose, you have to be consistent. You have to show up. You're showing up for others, not for you. And I think that's the big distinction between passion and purpose. And so I didn't understand why I couldn't, right? There were some days where I just didn't want to write. I didn't want to show my writing. I didn't want to be judged for it and criticized for it or have people comment on it. I didn't like that. It didn't make, but it didn't make sense because I saw all these other people who were writers doing that and it was working for them and they felt good about it. And it was just, it just made sense for them. And it was only when I started TikTok and I started posting my thoughts 
you know, verbally, like, like I am right now, to an audience and expressing them this way, that I realized my purpose isn't in writing, the act of writing, it's in the act of helping people feel seen and understood through my own journey of feeling seen and understood by myself. And that can happen through a variety of mediums. Writing is one medium to do that, but so is podcasting, so is video creation, so is just talking to people, having a one-to-one call, whatever. So that is something that I have no problem being consistent in. I, I do it all the time. It's not even a question. It's not a question of when I feel in the mood for it or when I feel this heightened emotion for it. I just do it. I feel called to just do it. And I also don't have as much trouble or issues with being criticized for my perspective on things, you know? it's And it's so interesting because I feel like a lot of people will say to me, you know, you're so vulnerable in your videos with the things you talk about. And to me, it doesn't feel vulnerable. It's me sharing things that I know will help people because that's what I think the purpose of my, my not my existence is, but you know what I mean? Like my, my work is, my effort is. So when people in comments on the videos disagree or don't like it or say things that aren't, you know, it doesn't hurt me as much as it did when I would share my writing because I realize now my writing is for me and the only person I want to look at it and criticize it is me. You know, and I do share my writing, you know, online at times and I have a newsletter and all that stuff, of course. But when it comes to the actual act of writing, that act, the way I do it, the way I write, my style is for me. I don't want to be criticized on my style of writing or how to be a better, you know, stylistic. I don't care about that because that is just an enjoyable practice to do for me. It's fun putting my thoughts into words and crafting sentences that feel interesting to me and spark a feeling of connection or understanding for myself. But with the other work I do, the way I like to explain myself online in podcasts, in videos, yeah, I want to be criticized. You know, I, I want someone to say to me, hey, this doesn't really make sense, or I'm a little confused about this, or could you explain this better? That doesn't bother me. Like, I actually enjoy that. And I realized through this that the reason I was struggling so much with the idea of writing and being a writer, even though that's what logically made sense at the time or what I thought I had to do is because writing is my passion. It's not my purpose. My purpose is rooted in helping people feel seen and understood. And that can happen through a variety of different methods. But when I was trying to force it to work with my writing, where where my writing is more of like an emotional expression at times, I can't force myself to be consistent all the time with it. And that's okay. And I felt guilty for that for a long time. I felt lazy. I felt inconsistent. I felt guilty. I felt like I wasn't good enough because why couldn't I just do it? Why can't I just stick to it? If it's supposed to be what I'm passionate about, what I love doing, why can't I stick to it? But there's a lot of stuff that you can love doing. You don't have to do it all the time, right? There's there's some foods that you um, love eating and you don't have to eat them all the time because you love them, right? There's so many things that you can do that you love. You don't have to do it all the time. And that doesn't mean anything, you know? So... I wanted to share this because I think it can be beneficial to anybody else who's struggling with understanding the difference between the two and why it might be hard for you right now to stick to something that you think is your purpose but might just be your passion. You might just love to do it and that's okay and you can just do it when you want to do it, when you feel the urge to do it. But there might be something else maybe within that. It might be, you know, on the same, under the same umbrella as that. That's your actual purpose and your purpose might be achieved through a different medium than what your passion is you know and I know it can be kind of hard and and confusing to to understand what that might look like for you but I hope this gives you a little bit of perspective and allows you to kind of step back a little bit and see it more objectively and ask yourself okay is this thing that I'm doing actually my purpose or is it just my passion and is my purpose rooted in something else that can look completely different than what my passion is because that might be the case for a long time I thought I wasn't good at public speaking. I didn't think I was good at articulating myself verbally, but I realized that that was just me holding myself back because I kept putting the identity of a writer on myself. Like I had to be a writer. So writers are better at writing than they are at expressing themselves verbally. But once I leaned into that, I realized like, actually, no, I'm pretty good at actually expressing myself verbally, sometimes even better than my writing, oddly enough. (laughs) <laughs> right? And it's it's so crazy how you can completely change the way you see yourself the moment you let go of any sort of strict identity you've been holding on to. And usually it is just to feel safe. You hold on to this identity because it's like, who am I without it? I need This is how I know who I am. How do I explain myself to people if not with this identity? But I don't know. I think that is very much rooted in 
our capitalistic society. This idea of you have to be easily understood and easily consumed by others. And that's how they know how to treat you. That's how they know how to respect you is if you can describe yourself in a sentence. It's like humans are so much more intricate than that. And I think it can be better at times to just look at what you think is more purposeful for you and lean into that. And your purpose can be through anything, right? If you're like me and you like helping people feel seen and understood, you can do that through anything. And it doesn't have to be some grand, you know, title. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a writer. It could be a cust customer service support person. It could be anything, you know, anything that helps you do that in a way that feels aligned for you and works with the kind of lifestyle you want. It can be that simple. And it doesn't have to be more stressful or, you know, complicated than that. And I think a lot of the time we're just, we force ourselves into complicated situations, not at our own fault, obviously, this isn't to judge or blame anyone, but because that's what we think we have to do. It's what we've been conditioned to think we should do. And then that just makes things way more difficult than it needs to be and uh, makes things way less enjoyable than they need to be. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you some perspective and I'll be back again soon with another episode.